some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves, well, uh, listening to Taco Terry as he whines and cries about an alleged assault uh, by a Target employee. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, is there anywhere that this uh, idiot goes where somebody doesn't want to uh, smack him around a bit? I mean, it gets kind of ridiculous, dude. I mean, you got to change your attitude, buddy. But at any rate, guys, let's just go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching uh, this fool cry about his life. What up, squad? How's everybody doing out there? I'm sure most of you saw this live stream the other day, but I figured I'd go ahead and add in the footage of the actual assault. That way there's no question as to what really happened, and people don't have to watch two videos. So let's go ahead and watch how this bad boy unfolded. So at this point, it's the day of the incident, and I'm standing over at the guest services talking to the young man while I'm also trying to purchase my candy and explain to him kind of what happened. But here's a quick rundown. When I get to Target, there is only the self-checkout, which has four registers open, and then two of the 18 employee-ran check registers open. That was it. So as I get my candy and I get up there, the two lines are taken up by people with big carts and full of items because the self-checkout's only 10 items or less. So I stand in line for, like, what's 20 minutes? It might have been 15, but it was probably more like 20. I get to the front, the first register, boom. Card only, no cash. Hey, Terry, uh, I got a little suggestion for you. Now, this works at Walmart. I'm not sure about Target. But you don't have to wait in the long lines at the front of the store when you've only got a couple items. Do you want to know why? Because here's a little secret. I know Walmart does this, but uh, I don't know about Target. But if you do it at Walmart, this will definitely work. Go to another part of the store, such as electronics or uh, hardware or uh, lawn and garden, that actually have a register at it where the lines are going to be shorter during certain parts of the day. I mean, that should help you out right there. I've done it quite a few times when I've seen long lines and only have a, a few items that I need to check out. I mean, it works every single time. But I guess you never thought about that because you're such a brainless buffoon. But of course, I understand that you're out to cause drama anyway, even at the local businesses, which is probably why you get kicked out of so many of them. But there's no sign saying it until you get to the actual register, and there's a tiny index card sign right there above the scanner. I go, oh, okay, I'll just go to the next one. So I let the person behind me go. I get to the next one. Says the same thing. I'm like, man, that's weird. Okay, let the person behind me go. I get to the third one. It says the same thing. I'm like, what the heck? At that point, I don't wait to get to the fourth one. I just turn around and look at it. And I'm like, oh my god, that also says card, no cash. So I look at the lady who's working over there and I go, hey, w what am I supposed to do? I have cash only. She just kind of shrugs and goes, I don't know. You can go over there or you can go over there. Again, just like at Walmart, there might be a certain areas of the store that you can go to that might be able to accommodate you that are less uh, busy at the busy times, such as, well, go to electronics, go to, uh, go to hardware, go to lawn and garden. I mean, the so solutions are always... Uh, simple in these particular occasions. Just go somewhere else. Just don't be a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, and if you don't have time to wait around during the uh, rush hours, don't be there during the rush hours, you lame brain moron. Or go somewhere else that might be more convenient. I mean, there's always other solutions than uh, causing trouble. She like really didn't point where or say where to go. She just said there, there, and I go... Well, I just kind of waited in line for 20 minutes. Oh, but baby. He goes, okay. I go, all right. So I go to start walking away. Got about 10 feet and turned around and said, huh, you do see where that's frustrating though, right? And she just kind of chucked the deuces to me, which is throwing the peace sign up sideways. And just like tilted her head and gave me this like ignorant smile. And goes, <laughs> and I was just like, all righty. I walk over to guest services, I start talking to the young man, explaining what was going on while also trying to purchase my candy, and that's how we get to this point right here. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Okay, okay, so you're telling me, or telling everybody, that you stood in line with a 
piece of candy uh, waiting to check out uh, for at least 20 minutes before you decided to walk away and cause trouble. Okay, then. Uh, uh, you do realize that uh, if you see all these people in line, maybe you have other options. Maybe you can go to another store or something like that. I would not have waited that long uh, myself. I would have just seen the obvious situation and probably gone somewhere else. Maybe to a Dollar General. Maybe to a Family Dollar or somewhere that was less busy than the Target. I mean, there are other options. Man, oh man, you're not a bright little boy, are you? No wonder so many people see you as such a little prick. You make mountains out of molehills. It makes a smile and just chucks the deuces like that. Like, we're in a f talk video, bro. Like, that's not customer service. That's not how you treat somebody. I didn't go, you see where it's frustrating? I hadn't raised my voice. I wasn't rude or anything. I just simply said, you see where that's frustrating, right? How am I supposed to know until after waiting 20 minutes that I now have to get back in line and wait 20 more minutes to buy one overpriced bag of candy? Like, Oh, now it gets worse. Now it's uh, 40 minutes that you had to wait to buy an overpriced bag of candy. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. You do realize uh, you are uh, making yourself look like an incompetent buffoon, right? Have you never worked a day in your life? I'm just asking for a friend because... Well, uh, somebody who's actually worked in retail would know that these kinds of things are bound to happen. And, uh, well, uh, you just can't help it because of shortages in ma of manpower. So you wasted 40 minutes of your own damn time because, well, uh, you couldn't figure this thing out for yourself. Okay. Yeah, since we turned, can you talk about me? Yeah, absolutely, I'm talking about her. See, look, see, this is what I'm dealing with right here. Huh? This is what I'm dealing with right here. Because at no point in time should any customer ever have to deal with that. Deal with what? Me telling you that you got mad because self-checkout only taking cards? Ma'am, all I did and was I say, said, I said, you, you see what that's Starbucks, frustrating, right? Or you can go I said, you see what that's service. frustrating, right? And, and what did said, you do yeah, to me? I said, you you didn't say, yeah, you just here. said, and you chucked the deuces like I'm that. I'm glad my phone was on record. I'm I know. I am. I'm time. glad there's also stuff recording. I'm recording myself. You want to do it again for my camera? Don't touch my shit. That's assault. Oh no, she touched the frauditor's camera. Uh, you do realize that the uh, frauditors have this perverse belief that uh, uh, the camera is part of them. So therefore, if you touch the camera, you touch them in some way, shape, or form. I mean, it could be interpreted in many ways, but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that's what they think, and it's uh, quite a little bit of BS. I fight dudes, so don't... I'll whoop your ass right in the store. F*** you. I'm... You. you just touched my phone. You know what that is in the state of Maryland? That's I don't assault. Care about none of that. Go ahead, touch it again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. But you see what I'm dealing with? I didn't fucking touch her. Don't touch my. That's why I asked for before she came over here doing that. Something. So I would, I would call them ASAP, like an emergency. Oh, careful now, Terrence. You better be careful. Do you remember the last time you got in a fight with somebody? Uh, it ended up with you having to have a head full of stitches after uh, you uh, tried to ass assault somebody. Oh, uh, yeah. This one might be a bit more tough to handle. She looks like she could rip you limb from limb. So, yeah, dude, you might want to tread carefully. I worked in restaurants and, 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 I worked at and for 11 so years. Did you work at Target yourself? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I worked in <laughs> restaurants for 11 years. I care about my customers. That's why I was upset about the customer service in the first place, because I used to go above and beyond for my customers, man. I'd sit up at 2 o'clock in the morning and be upset because I forgot somebody's ranch, you know what I mean? I'd be like, oh, I forgot the lady at 51's ranch or her, her old bay, whatever, da, da, da. You know, Terry, I worked in customer service for about a decade myself, and, uh, well, I had to learn very quickly to separate my personal life from uh, uh, my work life. Otherwise, I would go completely insane. Maybe that's where you uh, fell apart at. Maybe you got uh, too involved in it. Maybe you say you cared too much or something like that. But I really doubt it. I think you were always just a, an annoying little asshat, and that's probably why your parents don't want you running their restaurant. So... I walk over to guest services. I wait to get up to the guest services counter. At this point, I've now been here for like an hour trying to buy one bag of candy because there was three people in line in front of me. So Now it's gone from 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, dude, 
An hour ago, you could have gone to Dollar General and bought a bag of candy and been out of there and on your way doing your little frauditing thing. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, this doesn't seem like a natural thing to do. No, I got you, but I'm sure, I just, they're not 100% sure about the stay away, stay away order. Yeah, there is no stay away order. So they're verifying that, so I, don't, so they, I can't do anything about it right now, but so I'm trying to make sure that they do verify it. I'm trying not to get you help, you know what I'm saying? I got you. I appreciate that. But yeah, like I said, they tried to sell me at court. I wasn't allowed to come back here for a year until I completed the, uh, yeah. the community service and the stat docket was over. But like I said, they brought that back up off the thing, prosecuted me, and that was never part of the conditions. It was never, uh, you know, stay away from there. Because originally it was, you know, stat docket, obey all laws, don't get in trouble, don't yeah. go back there for a year, complete community yeah. service, yada, yada, yada. So just what they're saying is they, some of them think it's still there, some of them, you know, they're not sure. So I yeah. don't want them to be like, I got oh, you. Oh, here it is now. You're thinking, you know, yeah. Yourself. I've also, I've never signed any piece of paper saying that. Either. So you were previously banned from this particular target, and now you're back to cause trouble. Do you have nothing better to do in your life than to go into uh, places you're not allowed to and stir up uh, the pot? I mean, uh, is that all you have in your life? That is rather pathetic, dude. Very pathetic. I'm going to give you two words that uh, everybody should be giving you at this point. Uh, and those two words are grow up. Target now is trying to say that I have a stay away order in place on me. So that's why they're not answering me or giving me any of the information about me being assaulted. But like you just heard me say to the police, I've been here multiple times. Many many minutes later i kid y'all not bro i was not gonna go the legal route on this i had already spoken to my legal advisor this was not worth me doing all this from the jump i was just gonna let corporate handle it but since they're doing this dumbass shit and talking about you got to get subpoenas to prove this cool bet bet i don't think they realize i literally have all the time in the world so you're actually admitting that uh you are a jobless moron because you have a lot of time on your hands, so therefore you can go out and uh, file all sorts of lawsuits, cause all sorts of trouble, try to get other people fired from their jobs because you're jealous that you can't have a, uh, well, a nine to five, five day a week job that uh, everybody else can enjoy, so you gotta punish everybody else for it, is that right? Uh, insinuate that I have a stay away order in place on me. There is no stay away order in, in place. <laughs> the court case is over. You guys chose to bring it back up off the step docket. I don't know if Target asked to do that or the state did, but either way, Target came and chose to prosecute me for that after they brought it back up off the step docket. That's Target's choice if they still want to prosecute me for the theft. They had gotten all the items back. Again, it was personal items, socks, boxers and fucking t-shirts literally like again because you illegally removed me from my home in the beginning of the pandemic so you stole items from uh target and uh they got them back because well i know you weren't the one that returned them i'm sure the officers returned it not you uh so you're upset that you're being you were prosecuted for stealing the items originally from target uh, yeah, dude, uh, I'm glad you admit to being a thief as well. So basically, Taco Terry has admitted, uh, to numerous crimes in this video, such as theft and, uh, trespassing at this point. So, yeah, dude, uh, at least you're honest about your crimes. The place I was renting the basement out at, the lady that owned the house basically wanted me to lock myself in the house for the foreseeable future. There was, like, a a date on it she wanted me to lock myself in the house or i wasn't allowed to come upstairs and make food i wasn't allowed to come upstairs to get onto the back deck to go to the pool anything unless i were to lock myself in the house for the foreseeable future and quit my job and i said no i'm not doing that so she came down and freaked out and tried to yell and scream at me and luckily i had it on video and uh, when I wouldn't just leave because she was screaming at me, she tried to throw my shit outside. And then when that didn't work, she called the police and claimed that I assaulted her. Okay, so she wouldn't let you upstairs during the pandemic. Okay, then. Uh, well, there are solutions to that. You could uh, 
find another place, or you could adapt to it by buying yourself a freaking microwave and mini fridge to store your food in and cook with, you freaking moron. I mean, there's just no excuse for your stupidity. There's solutions to everything, and you don't seem to get that. I mean, you just can't go around being angry all the time. You gotta come up with solutions to your problems rather than creating more problems, and that's your biggest issue right there, you freaking dipshit. Create the solutions. Don't create the problem. Keep up this kind of lifestyle and you'll have nobody that'll want to be around you for the rest of your life. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?